Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss going to discuss a very interesting problem. The problem name is prime subscription rate by product action. So uh, as you know, Amazon has uh, multiple products like Amazon.com, Amazon Pay, Amazon Music, and, and lots of other products, right? So they launched this Amazon Music recently. Let's say this is a hypothetical situation I'm creating. So they 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 launched recently Amazon Music, and they want to see the users which are using Amazon Music. Are they buying Prime membership or not? Right. So they want to see the ratio. Okay. So here's the question. Given the following two tables, return the fraction of users who accessed Amazon Music and upgraded to Prime membership within the first 30 days of signing up. Okay. So these are different users and their sign up date. Join date is nothing but sign up date. And this is the event history of each user that which products they are using. Okay. Amazon Pay, Amazon Music. And the P stands for when they buy Prime membership. So, for example, the user ID 2 accessed Prime Music on 2nd of March. Okay. And then Prime he bought Prime membership on 12th of March. Okay. So, the question is, we have to find all the users first who access Amazon Music. Okay. And out of those users, we have to check how many upgraded to Prime membership within 30 days of signing up. Okay, so for example, there is a user, let's say A. Okay, let's say there are 10 users total. Out of these 10 users, only 5 accessed Amazon Music. And out of this 5 who, who accessed Amazon Music, only 2 purchased Prime membership within 30 days of joining. So the ratio will be 2 divided by 5, not divided by 10. Because we have to see out of the users which accessed 5, I mean, out of the users who access Amazon Music. So 5 access Amazon Music and out of those 5 only 2 purchase Prime Membership. So our ratio will be 2 divided by 5, 0 point basically 40%. So this is what we have to do, right? This is our users table and this is events table. I hope question is clear. So we will try to solve this. Okay. So first of all, what I need to filter, I need to filter like I said here, right? I need to find these five users who access Amazon Prime. So this is straightforward. I will say select star from users, right? Where user underscore ID in select user underscore ID from events table where type equal to music right i want to see for music okay so this will give me all the users who have accessed who have used amazon music uh, feature right so this will give me those users so these are the users only uh, we have only three users who have accessed amazon music now out of this i have to check how many have subscribed to amazon prime within 30 days of joining date right so now what I need, I need at, so I got those users first of all. Now I need access date, access date when they converted their membership to prime membership. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I will join this with events table. I'm doing lab join because there might be users who never accessed, who, 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 who did not buy uh, prime membership, right? So that, those also I have to count in the, in the denominator. 2 divided by 5, right? That's why I'm doing a lab join. Otherwise, I could have done the inner join. Uh, events e on u dot user id equal to e dot user underscore id and also also only those records I want from here, only those users I want which bought Prime Membership, right? And type equal to P, right? So this will be E dot type equal to E, P, sorry. Okay, hope it is fine. Now this is done. Okay, this is now, this, so this is, this is giving error because the user ID is there in both the tables. That's why it is getting confused. It is saying it is ambiguous. So I will say u dot user id. Okay. Hope it is fine. Now, now next thing. So I got the 
access date when they converted they they upgraded to prime membership so what i have to do i will do select star u dot star let me do comma uh, u dot now from events table i will take few columns e dot type right and e dot access date right if i run this now so for these users i got type and access it if you see this member user id 4 never subscribed to prime membership so that's why i need this also in the denominator right so, so total three users uh, access amazon music so i need these three count in your denominator that's why i did left join right if i do inner join this record will not come let me do it for you see that record is not coming so that's why that's how you have to decide you have to use inner join or left join okay now what is the next task next task is total count i have to get and the users who access who converted to prime membership within 30 days of joining date so i have to calculate the difference also so let me calculate the difference also date diff i will use date diff function first argument is i want date difference in day number of days start date is join date it is u dot join underscore date comma uh, access date is e dot access date right as number of days let me run it again i'm showing you step by step so, so that you understand okay so this guy took in 27 days and this guy took in 36 days which means only this guy is should be in uh, numerator right because this guy bought prime membership within 30 days of joining and also used amazon music so my answer will be 1 divided by 3 33 percent right 33 percent it will be so how i will do it so i will just comment everything here and i will say count of distinct user underscore id as total users this will give me total users who used prime music right what what next next is mm, what is the issue here okay from we commented sorry for that okay yeah now it is fine this is the total users now i have to find the users who who bought this in 30 days so what i will do i will say case when less than equal to 30 then user underscore id and right this i have to do and i have to do count of this count of distinct user id right so what it is doing it is it is taking user ids where this difference is less than 30 otherwise it will be null so when i do count it will give me just one so let me run it again so see it is giving total users three and prime members as one so now if i have to find the uh, ratio what i have to do i just need to control c divide by this that's it what it will give can you guess just guess in your mind see it is giving zero what is the problem i have told you before also in SQL, when you divide integer by integer, it will give you integer. So, uh, uh, so sorry, I have to do distinct user. Uh, uh, why it is giving seven total users? Something is not right. Uh, something is not right.
ओके आई डिंट रन द फुल फुल क्वेरी आई मिस दिस वेयर पार्ट सॉरी फॉर दैट ओके सो इट इज गिविंग मी जीरो so if you see it is giving me zero because the problem is when you divide integer by integer in sql it gives you integer only so 0.33 it is giving zero so what i will do i will just do multiply by 1.0 to make it decimal and then run it so it is 0.33 and just to get the percentage i can do i can multiply by 100 Okay, so we have thirty-three percent users who who used Amazon Music and upgraded to Amazon Prime within thirty days of joining date. So this is how step by step you have to solve these complex queries. Hope it was useful. Please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Also do try yourself. If you have a better solution, I will put in the description box the create and insert statements. Thanks for watching.